Hey okay, guys, <clears throat> should I bring you out and show you what I'm messing with? I'm turning old used milk jugs into little plastic rollers for uh, for work. But it's kind of cool. It's, um, I watched Harry Wa Her Harold Waters. Uh, his channel is uh, Redneck Amateur Workshop and he was making some handles it was really cool and I didn't know it was really that well simple or straightforward but uh, so what I did is I welded up this little like cylinder and I filled it with uh, HDPE like these little pieces that I cut out of milk jugs and uh, made myself a little squeezer <laughs> and right below it is a mold and uh, I'll squeeze this in there and I'll show you what's going on um, let me turn this real quick I think I uh, think I'm pretty close oh yeah feels nice and gooey I'll put a little bit of a squeeze to it and see what happens oh yeah I think it's getting warm I'm going to pull this out. Oh. <laughs> uh, get a little more heat and then I'll pull that piece of sheet metal off. Oh, you know what? You might be able to write on the vise. Lucky you. Here, let me uh, stick the camera down and adjust it and then I'll keep going and let you see what I'm doing. Yep, stuck to the vise. here all right I keep having to remember I've only got one glove on at the moment <laughs> so grab things with the uh, gloved hand instead of the free hand but let's see how this works I think that's enough heat at least enough we can give it a try Right, gloved hand on the Ooh. center it up. Give her a squeeze. And it takes quite a bit of pressure, but you can kind of tell when <clears throat> when it quits. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Well, that was maybe not hot enough, but we will see. And let me, uh, okay, get this up. And pull the mold out. Bring you over here to my other bench. All right. I guess it's the moment of truth. I don't know if I apologize for all the moving around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you might be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Eventually, I'd like to make a better setup than what I got. Maybe wing nuts or huh, maybe I'll try a a plastic handle like Harold made. A really neat series he did. Um, ow, ow, ow. Ooh, that's hot. Anyway, yeah. So go check out Amateur Redneck Workshop. He uh, he's the reason I did this or decided to do this. Pull the mold apart. Driver. I probably should leave, leave it cool for just oh you know what? I think it I think uh I think it's a good one. 
maybe a little too hot. I'm going to leave it cool down for another couple seconds. Let's see, this pumps right out. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Just uh, might be a little too warm to. been uh, using a little cooking spray. Basically it's like butter. Um, doesn't taste like butter I know when I use it to cook with so this is probably a better use. <coughs> All right and there it is. It's a good one. I'll show you what I got. I hope that was all in focus. I couldn't tell. Anyway, there's the uh, little piece in the mold. And uh, see, it put a little hole right there. Let me see if I can get this, this old one. Now, John Deere you, sells you this part. It's a hollow, I think it's PTFE also. It's a hollow little roller. It goes on a window frame. Uh, the front windshield, um, you unlatch it, and you can lift it up above your head and lo lock it above you, and it gives it. Um, it's wide open then that way when you're using it like in the summertime. And anyway, the whole windshield kind of rolls on these rollers, and they're just cheap little plastic um, rollers. So I decided to make some that are solid, and uh, let me stick you down so I can show you. Okay. And, uh, maybe some white also. Leave it to me to try to make a video without any light. Sorry about that. Anyway, let me let me pull this out of the mold. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah. I've been kind of using that cooking spray a lot up by this wood, but maybe I didn't put enough on there that time. Um, but anyway, here's the here's the roller I made, and here's the eleven dollar John Deere roller. And I think um, mine are gonna last longer. They won't crack and break like this one did. Anyway, take my uh, my big uh, sheet metal shears here. And I can cut off that end while it's still, hopefully. <laughs> I got that cooking spray and it's still kind of slippery. Okay. Clip off that end. And I'll throw this back in the pot melt over and then I take it to the belt sander and just clean up the little you know little parting line and uh, stuff but yeah that's another good one anyway here's a look at the mold it's just a little cavity what I did is I took an inch and a quarter spade bit and I I uh, changed the profile on the grounder, the grinder, so it would leave a round end. And uh, I had these two blocks put together, and then I drilled it, and then I made a plug that has the proper uh, size hole in it, right in the middle. And uh, so both ends. Let's see, let me get rid of this bolt real quick both ends it's got this locating dowel and uh, you find the hole and it goes together like that and then the steel on both sides clamps it I used it without the clamps and what it did um, there's so much pressure it cracked the wood right here and right over here and kind of blew these two ends out so I had to uh, 
regroup and figure out a better way. Let me show you this. Uh, that, that piece of steel sits up in there. And this hole up top, it's bigger than, than the uh, diameter of this rod. And the plastic just kind of flows down here pretty easily. Um, when I did it first, the first time I did it, um, I had that hole a little bit smaller so the plastic would come down and hit this uh, cold steel and it would just decide it wants to stop there. Um, here's one that I did. It just hit that steel and stopped. And uh, But when I redesigned the mold I made that hole bigger. And luckily um, color doesn't matter for me for what I'm doing. Um, so the the shitty color it were kind of a it, it kind of well tuh, not kind of I kind of overheated it and it was making them a really dark kind of burn color and uh, but the rollers still work good now I'm not heating it up quite so hot and uh, I think the melting temp is 266 or 286 or something like that but um, yeah so there's my little roller mold and and uh, yeah I hope you found it interesting and I can, can finally uh, turn the old milk jug milk bottles into something so I just sit I sit down and watch TV and cut these cut these up and I don't care about color, so you see like there's a blue one in there. Uh, another thing, you know, when you go to the convenience store and they give you the plastic bags, um, those are made from HDPE also. Um, so you can wad those up and throw them right in the little pot, the little cylinder, and melt them down. One of these rollers I made earlier that's what this one is. It's kind of got that pink stripe and stuff. That's the lettering from the bag. Um, I took and sanded it a bit, but not finished it. Here's some other layers on it. But let's see, that is number four. Actually, it's number six. And then I, I made two, broke the mold. And then yesterday I spent repairing the mold. And I might need to, might need to repair that little spot right there again. Um, yeah, but it's a hell of a lot better than an $11 roller, and each window takes four of them, so, yeah, it'd be kind of nice to be able to make my own, it'll last longer, alright, take care.